breeding with appropriate housing, environment and soil. It is critical to get quality snails, preferably from a forest or a farm. Your last option should be to purchase from the market because these snails are usually stressed. For the purpose of snail farming, however, only the three species of Achatina should be considered. These are Achatina Achatina lineus, Achatina marginata, and Achatina fulica. These are a genus of medium sized to very large air breathing tropical land snails. They are marketable and profitable. Collecting snails from the forest can guarantee an easier adaptability to a new environment when compared to collecting from farms. Collecting snails from the wild is best done in the rainy season. One method involves clearing a piece of land and attracting the snails by placing fruits on the land. Common fruits include watermelon, pawpaw, banana, and pineapple. The snails can then be collected continuously. High quality breeders of not less than 18 months are obtained from the forest directly and lay much larger eggs. The rainy season is usually the best time to snail snail farming. Snails can also be collected by hatching the eggs collected either from farms or the markets. The eggs can be placed in a container with wet sand and cocoyam leaves or buried underneath porous loamy soil. Exposure of air is not good for snail eggs. It is expected that the snail eggs will hatch into baby snails within 21 to 28 days. Water should be sprinkled on the soil every three days. 100% hatchability is still a challenge for most farmers. However, 50 to 60% hatchability is good enough. It is important to note that high density population of snails in a pen limits growth. It also affects the laying of eggs. Snails in a densely populated area grow more slowly even when food is abundant. They also have a high mortality rate. These snails become smaller adults and lay fewer clutches of eggs, have fewer eggs per clutch, and the eggs have a lower hatch rate. If the snails are too densely packed, they may not breed at all. The accumulating slime suppresses reproduction. Other disadvantages include high rates of parasitism and ease of transmission of diseases. On the other hand, snails in groups of 100 breed better than when only a few snails are confined together. Perhaps they have more potential mates from which to choose. Dwarfing is quite common in snail farming and it is attributed mainly to rearing condition. A maximum of about 20 mature snails per square meter is recommended, 40 per square meter for medium size and 100 for smoothie smell. If snail pen is large enough, it should be divided into paddocks of no more than 4 by 4 meters to prevent overcrowding and to maintain a regular stocking density. Wire net is ideal for this purpose. Feeding Feeding is the most important factor in snail farming. Snail can be fed with almost any kind of fruits, leaves and household waste as long as it does not contain salt. Popular fruit consumed by snails include pawpaw, tomatoes, mango, watermelon, eggplant, pineapple, cucumber, amongst others. It also consumes vegetables and leaves like cabbage, eggplant leaves, lettuce, okra and purple leaves. It is also recommended that snails are fed calcium as it helps in growing its shell. Low calcium intake will slow their growth rate and cause the shells to be thinner. The outer leaves of cabbage can be a good source of calcium because it has a higher percentage of calcium when compared to the inner layers. The pens can also be enriched with another cheap but effective calcium source, a broken rock fragment of limestone. Just place them as leaking stones in pens or the habitat where you plan to house your snails. You can easily gather eggshells from your kitchen scraps, grind them into powdered form and mix with the feed. It's also a good source of calcium that will cost you nothing. Baby snails are fed in a nursery with microorganisms from decaying bananas and vegetables in a soil substrate fortified with calcium. Adult snails can eat harder fruits 
and other organic materials, including soils. However, younger snails prevent softer and juicier parts of fruit to consume. It is advised that you target fruit markets, nearby gardens and bushes instead of buying fresh fruits and leaves to reduce feeding costs. You can actually go to the marketplace where um, where these feeds, where um, lettuce, cook, where you have lettuce being washed and everything. The ones, the parts that are not needed are thrown away. You can gather it, rinse it up and feed it to your snails. And that's about it. As I said, it's almost no cost. Harvesting. Maturity of snails take between 15 and 24 months. A minimum of 12 months is usually required for mature snails to be harvested. It takes uh, from 18 to 24 months to get an average snail, to get um, a snail from egg to maturity. Maturity is the big large table size. Check the brim of the shell. For mature snails, the brim is thicker and harder than other parts of the shell. Do not harvest all your mature snails for the market. Keep a few for breeding and to serve a base stock. Snail farming is lucrative if you have the right knowledge and experience.